A salmon feast for these thieving sea lions as they break into a fish farm. Very dire. Um, we're very concerned about the welfare of these animals. Ropes, hoses and metal all posing the potential for injury for more than two dozen sea lions. They're very large animals, so uh, it's the risk of entanglement or death due to injury is quite real. And this isn't the first time. There are 20 fish farms in Clackwood Sound. And over the years, there have been humpback whales uh, that have died in the farm. One was entangled in the farm. Many incidents with sea lions. This entrapment is just a tip of the iceberg for the impacts that these industrial farms are having. A house at First Nation, where the farm is located, says Cermak Canada operates under a protocol agreement with them, and this is an isolated issue. The farm is handling it correctly and in fact will be done harvesting next week and then the site will be empty. I find it really heartbreaking. Conservationists are sounding the alarm, calling for fish farms to be removed from the ocean. I, I really hope that the minister will decide not to renew the licenses so that um, you know these animals are free to live in their natural state. A spokesperson with Fisheries and Oceans Canada says attempts to deter the sea lions hasn't worked, adding the company is actively working to repair any holes in the nets to prevent fish escape. Our region is world renowned for sea mammal watching, whale watching, bear watching, and all of this depends on the wild salmon. Fish farms are not permitted to kill sea lions, but were allowed to in the past. Alana Kelly, Glacier Media.